highest he could have gotten as we switch over now to the uneven bars and the defending champion Elvira Teza of France. She got off to a very rocky start with the lowest score of all of the eight women competitors, an 8.925 on the vault. But the thing that's really neat about this young lady is she is a super innovator on both the uneven bars and the balance beam. She has so many skills that are on the cutting edge of the sport. You'll see a number of them here on the uneven bars. The only thing is she stole a couple of them from the men's gymnastics no, no, side of no, the sport. No, <laughs> <laughs> well, the innovation that you'll see on this bar, on the bars, is the influence from her two coaches, Shi Miao and Lin Chun, who have been in Marseille for the past 11 years. Their skills that we normally see from the Chinese athlete who are innovators on this event. Here comes one right here. This is great right here. Watch this skill. Right down to the low bar. Oh, fantastic. This is what gymnastics is supposed to be like. You take the code of points and you do really unique things that are very, very difficult and you do them beautiful. Just the dismount coming up. Oh, oh and a big boy. break. This, this is amazing. I don't think we have seen an athlete make it through a bar routine and I mean, she has been world finalist on this event. Her coach looking on and... Can't. You know, Tim, she just had the dismount left. She just had one skill left in the bar routine. It was absolutely fantastic. A high level as we, as we saw, but five tenths of a deduction. That's what the fall is worth. And it's her decision to pick up either before the mistake and try and repeat it or pick up after. What did she just decide to choose? She is actually going to do repeating the skill the skill again there it is it's too bad because she is so tremendous on this event and as it is in many events in many sports defense